What's up, Future Eagles? My name is DeAndre Powell, and I serve as the Assistant Director for Diversity Education and Advocacy here at Bridgewater College. Most people here call me Dre, and guess what? I'm here to give you a little information on how you can get involved on campus. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm the Coordinator of Student Engagement and Leadership in the Office of Student Life. What that means is I get to work with our 60 different clubs and orgs here on campus. I get to work with our Campus Engagement and Activities Team, or SEAT, which plan weekly events for students. And I work with our Student Senate, which advocates for students here on campus. We have over 60 club and, clubs and organizations for you to be involved in, whether it be academics, whether it be social, spiritual, service, or cultural-based organizations. There is something that is here for everybody to get involved with and feel like Bridgewater is a place for them to be called home. Some of our clubs include Comitatus, which is a sword fighting club where you can learn about medieval practices and actually practice with swords here on campus. They're not real swords, um, but practice sword fighting here on campus or Alpha Phi Omega, which is a service-based organization here on campus that we get to work with and they provide service opportunities for students. Our campus engagement activities team is a great way to get involved if you're interested in program planning and or if you're just interested in attending events. And our Student Senate is a great way to get involved if you're interested in learning about student government or you want to advocate for students here on campus. Our Student Senate is based off of a residential model, so for every residence hall that's here on campus, we have three senators. And for our commuter students, to ensure that they are also represented in our Senate, we have four, sen we have four senator commuter positions. Keep in mind that our mascot is Ernie the Eagle. Ernie keeps us hype, keeps us live, and he cheers us on to victory. Did you check the record to know that we are the football ODAC champs of 2019? Fact check. So, know that not only do we have Ernie, we also have Eagle Nation, which is our pep squad here on campus. If you want to bleed your crimson and gold, that is the perfect place for you to get hype and to show your school colors. The last thing that I want to chat with you all about today is our traditions. Student Life puts on traditions from your very first week here on campus all the way to your very last week here. Um, on campus from your first year to your senior year, from the first week on campus to the last week in the school year, we do things for students. And so a couple of our traditions that I just wanna highlight is starting in our fall semester, we have homecoming, uh, family weekend, BC Thanksgiving, all of these are different opportunities for you to connect with students outside of the classroom. But one that I really love in the fall semester that is really unique um, and I think traditional to Bridgewater College itself is our Journey of Lights in BC Christmas. So Journey of Lights is um, an opportunity where all of our different diversity and cultural and spiritual based groups go out onto our campus mall and under a tent, they host um, a tent that basically talks about what their winter celebrations look like within that culture or spiritual faith. Um, and it's a really great opportunity for students to learn about other students here on campus, but learn about what those different uh, cultures and faiths and how they partake in winter celebrations. So after Journey of Lights, we sort of pivot into what we call BC Christmas, um, which is connected and we sort of continue this winter celebration. And our president will read a Christmas story um, to students this year, he read Polar Express. And then we sing Christmas carols um, and sort of close out the night and just enjoying the festivities, the friendship, and getting to be around each other during the winter season. One of my favorite things to do on campus is to work with the MLK Day celebration. This is an opportunity for us to acknowledge and relive the legacy of Dr. King and to see exactly where we are today with Dr. King's dream and how we as a college are working together to create harmony and to get our students to realize the beauty and truth and collaboration and unity. Um, after we have MLK Day, we jump into sort of uh, some of our spring traditions, which include Founders Day, um, which is a college-wide tradition that we host. We have Ernie's Egg Hunt that happens every year. Um, and then we close out our spring semester with our Spring Fest, which is sort of a culmination of the whole year. It's the day before your finals in spring and SEAT puts it on and hosts um, typically a band. We'll give away like giveaway items, novelties, you'll get to take stuff home with you, and uh, you, the entire campus community comes out and you get to see them, you get to engage with your peers, your faculty, staff, and it's just a really great bonding experience and de-stress period before finals start the next day. And it's sort of like the last hurrah of the year. It's the last big event that we have. Um, and so it's a really great experience getting to see all of our entire Bridgewater College community come together and celebrate the end of the year and celebrate all of our students and wish them good luck in their finals.